I started having uh, insomnia. I was so hyped up after the shows, and then I ended up going to sleep around like, later and later, like going from 4 a.m. to 5, 6, 7 a.m. And then in the end, I, I would just stay up all night and just look at the fucking ceiling. I said, man, I can't sleep. He says, well, if you ever need any, um, any sleeping pills, just let me know, I have some stuff. I'm like, oh, cool, thanks, man, thanks, boss. So, one day I'm like, hey, can, can you give me one of those pills? I really need it to go to sleep now and uh, get some rest. Sure, here, take this one. This is like the, one of the light ones that I had, so it, it, you're gonna be fine. Of course, I take the fucking pill. I kid you not, then the next day, the lobby call was 5.30 p.m., 5.15. I couldn't wake up. I, I, I got lost in the fucking oblivion. It was like, I died. I barely like get my shit together, run downstairs to the lobby, I ride to the fucking plane. So I go on the plane. Standing there, and Ozzy comes in. The first thing he says is, "He sees me. <laughs> You're a fucking stone." <laughs> and I'm like, "Yeah." <laughs> the tour manager grabs me and goes, "You fucking idiot! Why would you ever take any drugs from this guy?" Like, I'm like, "I didn't think about it. I'm sorry." I'm like, lesson learned, kids. <laughs>